We're now going to give the ability uh, to update or change a password. Now this is more or less identical to the ability to update profile information because essentially all we're really doing is updating uh, fields where the user ID's ID is concerned. So it doesn't really uh, differ that much to updating profile information. Uh, the obvious or the only obvious difference is that we need to check that the existing password uh, matches and also that the two new passwords um, are the same. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a form uh, here um, down here um, for the sake of the of the tutorial I'm just going to paste in uh, the data that we need because um, what's you know the, the the point here is that we we get this form created I'm not going to go ahead and type it all out again um, we've already seen how these form fields are set up we've got a method of post uh, divs for each field and then a label and an input and if you just pay particular attention to the name of the field that's that's what we're going to be working with um, we're obviously working with um, generating a token and we have a, a field uh, or a form uh, basically to update so um, we're going to add a little link to our index.php file just uh, do the ability to change a password so let's go ahead and do that so uh, over on index.php let's just create a new link here to say change password and that's change password.php that we're currently working in here so let's just preview this change password page uh, it looks like that very straightforward again the field names uh, are, are consistent and uh, we already know what we're doing on that side of things so um, what we need to do now is uh, all the standard stuff so we want to include um, core in it We want to instantiate a new user object so we can take advantage of, uh, of that functionality. We want the user to be logged in so we want to say if not user is logged in redirect to index.php. Um, okay so now we want to check if the input actually exists. Uh, and then we want to check the token as well to make sure this isn't uh, the result of cross-site uh, request forgery. So we want to check the token that's been supplied by the form, which we can get with the get method uh, index uh, token. Uh, yep, that's fine. So that's the token there that we're submitting to the token check. So if that all goes OK, let's just output OK so we know um, know that that's worked, just so we don't go any further. So click to change. Yep, that's worked. So what do we need to do? Well, the steps here are validate the uh, the current password, um, the password new and the password new again to make sure that they're all required and that the password new again matches the password new. Um, and if that's the case, what we then want to do is we want to make a hash from the current password um, and the salt of the user and compare it against the current password just to make sure that they both match. So if the user's password is, is the... Um, is it exists as their actual password then we can go ahead and let them go and change their change their password um, we generate a new salt as well which is a little bit exciting so we, we're going to generate a new salt every time they update their uh, update the password so what do we want to do well we want a new uh, validator uh, validate object so we want to say validation is uh, sorry validate check we want to check the post data and again we're going to provide a list of uh, the fields here so we've got password current password new and password new again so password current we've got password new and password new again so inside of here password current what do we need to check well this is absolutely required in fact all of these fields are required so we'll set this to true and we want the minimum to be six uh, now I guess this isn't really required because um, you know we're not setting a new password here. it's more important in the password new uh, but you know either way we'll, we'll add that in anyway required 
So we want the require to be true on the new password, obviously, and we want that to be a minimum of six as we defined when the user signed up. Now the password new again is going to be exactly the same as this, so we'll just copy and paste that. But additionally, we want that to match password new. So we want password new and password uh, new again to match. So if the validation passes, we want to do a change of password. Otherwise, we want to um, basically loop through the errors that we already have, so or that we get returned. So for each validation errors as error, remember that's a method. We want to echo the error and just append a break. So let's go ahead and just roughly test this. Um, let's click change, uh, validating passes, okay. Validation passed, my mistake. There we go. Okay, so um, the current password, I'm gonna to set to password and click change. Uh, password new is required. Password, I'm gonna change it to um, uh, just changed. You can't see what I'm typing. When I click change, that works. Password, I'm gonna type a load of rubbish in here and a load, a load of rubbish in here. Click change, password new, must match password new again. Okay, so we've uh, successfully validated it. Now, how do we change our password? Well, we already have the update method on the pass on the on the user object. So if we're on the user class, so we can already update data. So that's not a problem. We can use that to update, update our password. But we want to, um, first of all check if the um, the user's password matches their current password so it's a simple if statement um, what we want to do is we want to make a hash and this hash is going to be made from the password current the current password and um, we want to append on a let's see where are we we want to append on the current salt of the user because we require that to efficiently detect like we do when we log in uh, if the user if well that will be the, the the hash will be the the password that the user entered plus their salt if that doesn't equal user data password then the password is wrong so we want to say echo your current password is wrong now, otherwise, um, this is a success. So uh, let's go ahead and echo out. Okay. So let's go ahead and type in an incorrect initial password. Uh, in fact, let's type in a correct initial password and two new passwords. Okay. Now, if I was to type an incorrect password, um, something else, and two new passwords, and I click change, it says your current password is wrong. So we know this works now. Now, to update the password, it's as literally as simple as just doing a, a user update. The first thing we want to do, though, is generate a new salt. So we just do hash salt as we did when we um, when we registered a user, and that will be a 32 length uh, salt. Then we want to say user update, and we want to obviously pass um, a, an array of things we want to update. We want to update the password, and we also want to update the salt as well. So the password will be input get password new, but we want to make a hash out of this. So we want to say hash make, and then we also want to supply the salt. Now we also want to store the salt and that will be just salt. Perfect. So what we can now do is flash the session to home your password has been changed and we want to redirect to index.php and that's it nothing new we've we've used all this functionality before we've built this up from scratch we know what um, classes we have we know the helpers we have so it doesn't you know we're not doing anything new it's not it's not fantastic new functionality so I'm going to change my password here 
and click change your password has been changed um, you could log a user out at this point but now when I go ahead and log in oh in actual fact let's take a look at this you'll notice that this will have changed so keep an eye on this row here in this salt and you'll see that they both change now so uh, you can see that my password has been changed even if the user enters the same password so even if I supply password as my old password and password as my new password the hash and the salt, uh, the salt will still change because what you're doing is you're changing the salt uh, which is randomly generated 32 character um, hash uh, uh, value and uh, that's being applied to you the same st uh, plain text password but effectively with a new salt so using the existing functionality that we have we've updated the user's password using the update method generated new salt, used everything we've already used, and uh, a user can now update their password.